Welcome. We are going to be creating a simple, free, and actually a very decent form. I know many people have wanted a form. Here's an example form. Dark Forms is a great form. You should go join. We're going to be using the same type of form thing. Form script, I should say. We're going to be using my BB, my bulletin board. Okay. Well, first off, you're going to need to download the my BB script. It will be located at mybb.com. You can just go there and download it. I'll put a link in the description. I've da already downloaded it to save time. Next, after you download it, you're going to need a web host. And if you don't want to pay for a web host, there's a few free, really good free hosts. For example, we're going to be using ByteHost. Not my favorite host, but it's free, and even their paid subscription is cheap. I'll put a link in the description for this. Go to ByteHost. Click on free hosting and sign up is what you get. You This is all you need for a smaller form. You don't need anything more than this. But with this, you do not get email. They have taken that out. They haven't taken it out of the features. So after you get it, just sign in. You'll get a weird username. You don't get to choose it. be logged into Vista panel. It's a free version of cPanel. Now you're here, you see that I already have stuff used, a little bit of stuff. Not a lot. But you're going to need to create an add-on domain. No, you're going to need to create a subdomain which will be the same as an add-on domain. I'm sorry. And you can choose your domain. So whatever you want your form to be, we're just going to be call our form cool stuff. And then you can choose a subdomain end if you do not already have, if you have not purchased a domain. If you purchase a domain, you can go to add on domains and register it and change the name servers on your domain register. We're going to do 66ghz.com. Go ahead and add domain. See, it's right here. I already have one there. Now that you've done that, you need a MySQL database. You get here in Database Management under Vista Panel. If you're using cPanel, it'll be under about the same thing, or maybe under MySQL. Click on MySQL Databases. You're going to create a new database. You can name it whatever you want. We're going to name it Cool Stuff CS. We don't want to name it very long because you have to remember it. There it is. Now that you have all that done, you need to upload my BB script because you can't very well install it when it's not uploaded. So you can use an FTP client if you want. We're going to use an online file manager. Wait for that to load. And you can see now you're in the root of your account. Just click on that subdomain you added. Click on htdocs. If you're using a paid account, it will not be htdocs. I believe it will be public underscore html. Your, all your subdomains will be under public underscore html and that. Now that you're here, you need to upload a file. Maybe different on what you're using. It says I downloaded it in a zip format. I will upload an archive. So just find it. My BB 1600.zip. Maybe different uh, depending on when you download it. Click the check mark.
it may take a while to upload depending on what you're using, how busy the server is, and how fast your connection is. Should not take more than two minutes. As you can see, it's finished uploading. Copied file, created file. Just click on the check mark. Back. You'll be taken to your htdocs root. You're going to need to open up the upload file since you don't want this. Click on all. Move. You're just going to need them to move to htdocs. So remove the name of the file they're in and the backslash and the forward slash. That's after htdocs. If you're wondering, that is called a trailing slash. And now when you click up, we didn't... Okay, mistake to be made. When you click on move and you change this, make sure you click set all target directories. Click the check mark. If you don't, it'll just move none. And we don't want that. Now you see no 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 upload, we're all in HD docs. Now that you have everything uploaded, you need to make sure you have your install folder. Sometimes it does not get uploaded for some reason. I have had this problem many times. Just upload it separately if you have this problem. Now you're going to need to copy this. Just the address, not the forward slash in front of it. Copy it. New tab, new browser, paste it. Type in slash install. Whoops. It auto completed that. Backspace that so it doesn't auto complete. And then click enter. May take a while. You can see you're now in the MyDB installation wizard. You can check this depending on if you want it. I'm not going to check it as it does take up a small amount of your bandwidth. Just click on next. Next. Make sure all of these are green. If they're red, that's bad. I will teach you how to change them later if they are red. Click on next. Now is, if you're using ByteHost, this is where you configure your MySQL database. If you're using ByteHost, it will be MySQL improved. Make sure you have that. Your server host name you will get from going back to your ByteHost Vista panel, going to Database Management, and PHP My Admin. Find the one, click on Connect Now. This is your server. Let's copy this. Your username is the username you logged in to ByteHost with. And your password. And your database name is your username underscore the name that you gave it. If you want to check, it's right here, database. You can change the table prefix if you want. Do not. I would recommend not. I wouldn't recommend changing the table encoding either. Let's click on next. All these should be done. If you get any errors, go back and try it again and ask questions if you still can't get it. keep clicking on next unless you get any errors then try to go back and do the thing again form name this is where you can change the form name do not change the URL website name you can change the website name if you want you can use the URL do not change the cookie domain it is already registered as it should be 
contact email is the email that you would like to be contacted when they click on contact us at the bottom of the page. We don't want that. Now you have to create your administrator account. You if you you have to create this. If you don't create it, you cannot do anything with your form. You can't edit anything without going into MySQL database and creating a user that way, which is very difficult. So just create a username. Since it's admin, we're just going to create admin. You can create anything you want. Password. Retype password. Email address. Anything you want. It does require you to have an email. Click on next. Everything is done. You have not, you do not you have your form now. Your installer is locked. So to get to your form, you can just click on this button, or you can just go to your URL. And there you go. There is your basic form. Check back later, and I will show you how to change the theme, install plugins, and everything else.